Well, I think that the experiences that are being designed are definitely much more casual. Uh, in our research, what's interesting is that it's not so much the mechanic, the type of choice that you make in the game, or the type of challenge, but the theme tends to have more of a gender, of a gender skew. And what's interesting with, uh, I'm glad you brought up the gender issue, uh, because there's some really interesting stuff. Not, every, not all guys want to have a Rambo fantasy. Some kind of get tired of it after a little while. Uh, a lot of guys like, like sports, but not everybody likes, to, likes like sports. And if you think about what, uh, if you get two groups, um, and it could be divided by gender or age, you know, average session certain time, amount of violence in, in the experience, um, you have to remember that that average is an average of what? Well, it's an average of individuals. And those individuals actually aren't all in that same line. Even there's a, if there's a statistical difference between the two, you actually then have two normal distribution curves. And so there's a lot of guys in the girls' range, say, and a lot of girls in the guys' range. And what people tend to forget with, um, the, uh, with 50 years of marketing experience behind us now, uh, we, we tend to jump right into the gender as like, oh, this is the defining rule. This is how we make our games better because we're going to target this by gender. Turns out, though, if we put everything that people like about games, we just sort of dump it on the table. Okay? And in one hand, we gather everything that guys like and only guys like in one hand. And if we gather in the other hand, everything girls like and only women like in the other, well, then we do, what do we do? Well, the game industry, well, it makes a game for guys and a game for girls, right? Well, what are we forgetting? Turns out what we're forgetting is everything that's still on the table, right? And it turns out in terms of our research, everything that's still on the table is what players like the most about games. And so when we think about how to you know, use, um, use, you know, use gender segmentation as a way to make games more fun, it's actually a pretty slippery slope because if you're looking at a lot of games that are, have mass appeal, you know, it's like 40-60 you know, male and female, and so, and games are all, almost all played in mixed gendered environments. So it's not surprising that the most popular games like World of Warcraft or uh, The Sims or Myst, uh, and we've worked on three of the Myst series, uh, is that um, they actually uh, draw, they actually draw from both pools. You know, there's mechanics and situations and, and themes that appeal to, uh, that, that appeal to both. But in terms of casual games, what we find is that there's a lot of uh, very interesting, um, obviously, theme stuff. So the whole the restaurant, restaurant simulations, Diner Dash, we've worked with Play, to, uh, Play First on everything since Diner Dash 2 pretty much on as you know, come through our lab. And uh, what we've noticed is that there are a number of, um, of mechanics. And it's not that they, uh, women, women absolutely like hard fun. You might think that, oh, it's the guys that want the real sweaty, kind of like intense experience. And the girls want this you know, either very social or very easy time. Not true at all. I mean, women love, as well as men, they really love to work hard for their game. The, more, the harder they work, the more rewarding it feels. And so it's not surprising that people will you, know, you play Tetris on time mode, and it's, you, work, you, work up, you do work up a sweat. Um, but what we don't see is we don't see a lot of complexity in the controls. So, um, you know, women do tend to invest less time in learning in a um, thing. They also are newer entrants into the market. So what correlates a lot more with casual and core kind of games is, like, you know, how long you've been playing games and how often you play. Uh, because uh, games for uh, the hardcore market have really scaled up in terms of adding additional features over time. And uh, the hardcore market really has perfected, you know, these sort of five core games. There's five core games that they perfected, um, whereas the casual space is, is, much, more, is, is much more open. Mm -hmm.